So good morning you guys, today I'm going to be starting part four of me redoing my room so if you haven't seen one two or three then i'll link it down below in the description I made myself a cup of tea it looks really really milky right now so i'm just letting the tea bag sit in there for a bit um my room is practically empty at the moment um my hamsters are in my mum's room because of all the fumes and stuff from yesterday i feel like once the whole wall is done and it's got my furniture in i think it's going to look really really nice but um i do miss my old wallpaper um and i actually put these two up myself i think i've done a pretty good job because this is like my first time ever doing wallpaper so we was going to continue with the wallpaper yesterday um, but then we need to get some paint to cover this. So we're outside now. Um, we're just going off to um, a shop across the road to see if we can get some paint for my wall. Um, if there isn't any paint there, then I don't know where we're gonna get paint from, to be honest. We can try this shop. Okay, we have some sort of paint. Yeah, I'm not paying nine pound that. Because we only need a tiny bit. We just went into one shop and they didn't, well they had a paint but it was £10 and we don't need one that size. So me and Charlie are now um, walking to my sister's house because my sister said she has a little bit of paint so hopefully it's alright. Quite nice outside today. Um, it's about what, 26 degrees today? So we managed to get some paint from my sister's house and we're literally just back at mine so hopefully it's the right colour. So we're back now and we're just relaxing for a little bit and then we're going to make a start on um, painting the little dark patches on the wall. So we're just going back to being cute at the moment because we brought the wrong thing. We opened up, what was it we even brought? What is it? Filler. So we were supposed to buy paste yeah. yesterday and we accidentally bought filler so we're just returning that. They've got them right next to each other, so that's why we picked up the wrong thing. So we just got back from b and uh, we got this tester pot of Magnolia paints because the paint that my sister gave me is a bit off coloured and I'm not sure if it's going to work so this is just back up. And we also got the right thing, the wallpaper adhesive. So we've just got back home now and I got changed. So Charlie's painting the wall with the new paint that we got. So this is the colour of the paint that my sister gave us. Charlie's just painting the wall with the magnolia paint. So while Charlie's painting the wall, um, I've just got this bucket and a cloth and I'm just cleaning along my um, skirting board. So it's about half seven now and we've almost finished the wall. But I think it looks really, really nice. What do you think, Charlie? It looks amazing. We've got one piece of wallpaper left to do. So I'm not too sure what the time is right now, but it's pretty late because it's dark outside. Um, but I finally finished putting up all of my wallpaper and I really, really, really like it. It looks really, really good. Um, and I can't wait to get the rest of my furniture in um, but I'll show you guys what it looks like in the morning because um, we'll have better lighting. I've got the hamsters back in the bedroom. So Kashmir is in her normal cage, I'm not too sure where she is right now. And then Cupcake is just up here in her temporary cage. So hello again, it's now um, Monday the 10th of July. We're currently ripping up the carpet in my mum's room, the hallway and my room because we're going to be getting the new carpet fitted tomorrow. This is what my new wall looks like like um in the daytime there's just one little patch down here but that's all right because my um chest of drawers are going to be covering it this is what the hallway floor looks like it is quite sticky and then this is what my mom's room looks like so we took her carpet up first the floor is so sticky i've got all like bits underneath my feet and my clothes are all dusty um, and then these are all the bags with the bits of carpet in there which me and charlie are going to take downstairs so this is what my bedroom 
is currently looking like um and then down here i just have this bit of carpet left because i'm gonna be sleeping here if i could i would take this off the wall but i can't do that because it's literally stuck on the wall but it's all right the plans for tomorrow is that i'm gonna go to b q with my sister in the morning i've been to b q like four times already this week um, but i'm gonna go to b q with my sister tomorrow because i want to get myself some paint um some like white paint or an off-white paint to match this color on my wallpaper and before i forget charlie has now gone home um i'm probably gonna see him in another week or so so i'm gonna end today's vlog here and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, so bye for now. I'm just about to go off to b q with my sister to return um, this wallpaper because I bought a extra roll which I didn't need. And I'm going to see if I can get some paint and I might end up going back to Ikea again because my mum wants some containers. I think I might go for more whitish colour than the pink that's better than that that looks dark now so this one the what's it called so that would be in direct daylight looks quite white looks more yellowy and then this one looks super yellow that light, then? energy saving the smaller it's ones it's it's is this just normal white. paint matte you don't want matte. I think they're all matte. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Is it heavy? Oh, this is five litres, the same as what he's mixing, so perfect. I'm going to need some um, paint brushes. Get um, different doors to mix and match it, but my one doesn't have the lines in it. So I think this would be the size of the wardrobe because it's a hundred centimeters. This is making my eyes Have you got any lights in yours? No, I don't really need lights in the wardrobe. It's not like a fridge. It's gonna look like that, but with these handles. So basically, this door. And it'll probably be about this height. I don't like oh, it. Oh, these are it's, nice. No, I don't like it. It reminds... Oh, no, just, I don't like it. It just really, looks really thin. It's like something you can wash your pet in. Yeah, it's just weird. Does it always sit there together? Yeah, they told the boys it's going to rain and I did bring my umbrella. So I'm back home now and I'm just about to drink my strawberry milkshake from McDonald's. So these are some of the whites I was looking at. Um, I ended up getting this one at the end. So I did manage to get all my paint stuff from being cute and it was really, really expensive. I was only planning on spending about £30 in total. So getting the paint and then getting like a couple of tools and stuff. The paint was £38 and with all the tools and the stuff I'm gonna need, it came up to £58, so almost £60. <laughs> so my carpet is down now and i absolutely love it so here's my carpet it's like a sort of whitish creamy color and it is really really soft and we've got like underlay so it feels really nice and soft to walk on because before we didn't have any my room needs to be um hoovered because there's a few little bits in it but i absolutely love 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 the carpet i do need to go to the shop to get something um but when i come back i'm gonna have something to eat get changed and make a start on painting my walls because my furniture is coming tomorrow so i want to do it as much as possible so i can get my furniture up as soon as possible so i'm just about to eat my mcdonald's that i got earlier i already had the chips and the milkshake so i'm just eating my usual my chicken sandwich so i have this like reading light stuck on my wall for god knows how many years i decided to peel it off um 
and some of the wool sort of came off with it so I kind of sanded it down a little bit um, so hopefully this doesn't show through the paint it shouldn't do because it's going to have like a coat or two of the primer on and then the white paint um, so you know that should be all right So I thought I would give you guys a really quick update of what I've done so far. Um, so this is pretty much the first coat. Um, I've still got on top of there to do and I've also got this section to do up there. But other than that, um, it's going really, really well. I've still got loads and loads of paint left. Um, so I'm just going to fill in the rest of the pink areas and then I'm going to do a second coat. I'm really, really, really missing the pink though so hopefully it turns out all right so it's a little later now it's actually 12 40 so um it's pretty much the next day now um so i was actually painting my walls for like five hours um but i finished priming it which is really really good so this is what my room looks like at the moment the walls are literally just white so i primed all of it um the ceilings are actually quite messy i didn't do a good job with that but um the ceilings did have quite a lot of pink splodges on it anyway so i wanted to try and cover that up because it would look weird with white walls with like pink splodges on top so that's a little bit messy um the only thing i need to kind of sort out now is my curtains and my blinds because i need to get new ones um but that's like the last thing i've decided to do so a bit later on today because it's technically wednesday um i'm going to actually paint the walls with the color that i want so it's going to be white but it's more like a creamish white um so i'm really excited to see how that turns out so i've literally just got out the bath because i was covered in paint it was all over my face and everything so i just had a really quick um shower so i'm about to have dinner um then i'm going to be doing some editing because i've still got part three to edit um and i'm just gonna go to bed so um i'll probably catch up with you guys at some point later on today um so yeah so good night for now and i'll see you in a few hours so hello once again um so today is the 12th of july and it's currently like four something in the afternoon so it's a little later on in the day but today has just been a sort of relaxing day well this morning i had to help my mom um, moved the furniture in the living room to make space for my um, Ikea furniture that's coming today. So I've just got a text from Ikea and they said they're going to be here in about an hour. Um, so hopefully that all goes well and then all of my Ikea furniture will be here. Um, but today I've just been editing because um, I'm really behind on editing because I've been super super busy and I just haven't had the time or energy to do that. So I'm just about to eat this meringue. Um, when Charlie was round he bought me a pack of meringues um, and I absolutely love them. I think this is like my third one. So thank you for these Charlie, they're really really nice. So my walls are completely um, dry now, they're literally white like white white um i've got my hamsters in my room now so i'm just gonna watch a couple of youtube videos and just chill until my furniture comes I'm with you. So good morning, it's now the 13th of July. Sorry I didn't end my vlog yesterday. Um, yesterday was kind of a disaster. I went to paint my wall with the new paint and I really don't like the colour. And for some reason it's showing up like white with a hint of green, it almost looks grey. Um, so that's kind of like 40 pounds down the drain. So I've been stressing over that. My furniture arrived on my IKEA yesterday, which is really, really good. So my sister's gonna be picking me up in a little bit and then we're going to go off to B&Q and hopefully find the paint 
that's going to be the right colour. Hi guys, it's me Shanice. I'm here at Malika's house right now and it looks really nice because she's redecorating everything. So it looks really fresh. So me and Shanice are just going to the car now. I'm gonna see if I can return this because my sister bought it for me um, a couple of days ago for my birthday when we went to being no when we went to boot. Um, but this one's a little bit off, so I'm gonna see if she still has the receipt so we can exchange it. So I got this paint, I got two pots of it, um, hopefully it's alright, it's kind of like a baby pinkish colour. So I'm back home now and I've just got changed into the clothes I was wearing the other day when I did the painting. So I managed to pick up a paint, it's like a really light pink and it's in the shade pink pink and the paint was only £9 and I got two um, buckets of the paint. So this is what it looks like, it's just one of the cheap um, silk ones. So this was the other paint that I had, they said I can call the company and kind of let them know what happened, hopefully I can get a refund or something because this was kind of expensive um, so I'm gonna go ahead and test this pink and see how it turns out okay, so let's just take a bit off the lid hopefully this color looks all right let's put this on yeah I really 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 like this color this is such a pretty pink so I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting my room now fingers crossed this time I've got the right color um, so yeah I'll speak to you guys in a little bit I've just brought the hamsters back into my room. So I finished painting a little while ago and the paint is dry. So I've just given the gals some food. This is the Science Selector palette. So just chuck some of that in their cages because they was running really low on food. Um, I couldn't get to their dwarf hamster mix. I literally don't even know where it is because all of my staff are just in the front room and it's just really hard to find things. And they'll be okay with that for like another day or two. I'm just going to bring my mattress into my bedroom um, and open that up because I have to leave it for 72 hours so that it can expand because it's been compressed um, and after I have my bath I'm going to try and put the Mickey desk together because that seems like the easiest piece of furniture that I can actually put together by myself. <music> I'm really really happy with the mattress, it's just a spring one, um, it was only £60 from Ikea. I've just turned it over to the cream side and it's really really like soft, it's quite a firm like mattress, I chose a firm one, I guess it would last longer as well, um, but it feels really 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 comfortable. <laughs> So it's now about 10.30 and I've just finished putting my um, desk up. So here's the desk and then inside the drawer I just have um, some little bits and bobs. And this is what my light looks like. It's so, so, so pretty. And I'm also using one of the coasters which I ordered from Ikea. I think you get a pack of four for about like a pound. I was trying to look for some nice white or pink coasters. Um, I was looking for them everywhere but I just couldn't find any so I just went ahead and brought these um, cheap cork ones from Ikea. I'm about to have um, something to eat once again I'm having McDonald's. I'm going to end part four here and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I'll link all my social medias in the description if you want to go and check them out and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video so bye for now.